welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing? So I'm Julie here with my friend Hannah. Hi! So we're just gonna be doing a little paint with us, chat with us. Yeah. I'm gonna ask her a few couple questions that I have written down on my phone. This is the first time I've been in a YouTube video that I'm not in charge. Like, yeah, I'm not charge filming, them, right? Yeah, this is so cool. No, you're the newest guest on my channel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what, what oh, do put my YouTube channel up here. Go, guys, so go subscribe. I'm yes. trying to get 500 subscribers. I'll also link her down below in the yeah. description. And I guess we can get started on the question. Oh, yeah. show what we've been painting Oh, right we're now. painting. Oh, let me show you. Okay, okay. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna bring both of them too, because we can painting this. Thing. Cause yeah, okay. No judgment, please. <laughs> we, I tried. I painted it with a birdie, and I'm trying to. We're trying to paint each other, actually. So I'm painting her. Oh, you can't really see it. You yeah, can you can see it. There. Okay. Yeah, but um, we're trying to paint each other, and we're gonna show you the funny results. So these are just very general questions. The video mm -hmm. that we did on her channel was FIU based questions. Yeah. Um, but my questions are just kind of about life, random questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first question is: When was the last time you felt embarrassed? Mm hmm. Let me think. Oh yeah, this one time I, it wasn't too. It was like kind of close. Like it was kind of re, like it wasn't too long ago. But like, here's what happened. So I was like, there was these Russian guys that I always say hi to before I go to my dorm, and they were like waving at me, and then I went back, and then I hit like I was like, hey guys, and I like hit a wall. <laughs> <laughs> it was like really bad. And then like I was just like, for me, it, the last time I felt embarrassed, honestly, was the time we were in the elevator. Yeah. I felt embarrassed. Probably wasn't that embarrassing. <gasps> Yes. Oh my god, yeah, that was so, so I'll just say what it was. Okay, basically, we're, we're, like there was these people that I knew and we were we kind of knew each other, you know what I mean? But we like did it they weren't interacting with me and yeah, we kind of said didn't hi. Know them. Yeah, we kind of like said hi, but it was really awkward tension. I didn't say hi. Yeah, did. I said hi. I said hi, but it was like really awkward tension. Yeah, yeah. and it was the first time I had ever come to her dorm building. Yeah. And so we were all going in that elevator together. It was yeah. three other people and then us two. Mm -hmm. And I just felt such awkward tension so because I didn't know how to introduce myself since <laughs> I've never been in a dorm so building before. <laughs> So awkward. Yeah. So that I think was the last time I felt embarrassed. Let's see. Ooh, okay. The next question is, what are some of your goals for the rest of 2021? Mm, okay, actually, um, my main goal is to, well, my goal for like the new, my use, new year's resolution was to get 500 subscribers. Yes. So that it was that. Let's get to you 500. Know? Yeah. And then another one was to probably just like, um, take better care of my health, mm. meditate. Mm. Um, I meditated this morning. You meditated? I meditated this morning. Bad, but this summer is summer for yes, sure. Yes, yes. And I think just to be more happy, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like just try to like find happiness a little bit more, like getting, you know, finding inner peace. Mm -hmm. So that's like really cheesy, honestly. No, it's not but, cheesy. Like, yeah, Those I don't know. Those are good goals. What about you? For me, I think, okay, considering 2021 continues into fall semester, mm -hmm. definitely like um, join clubs and then make more friends. Mm -hmm. And then I think personal goals is to get into like a stricter routine, like mm -hmm. in the morning to like, exercising, meditating, and then right. watching more what I eat because for the past couple months, I was like eating really clean and then I stopped. Same. Um, so getting back into just like an overall healthier lifestyle. Describe your type in guys. Okay, well, I don't know why, but I've always had a thing for like more thinner guys, like skinnier. <laughs> I don't know why, like I like skinny, like not like, oh, skinny, skinny. Like I know that's weird, just but like I like lean, them like really guys. lean and tall, yep. you know? Um, and apparently everyone says I have a type. Like, personality is like, mm. oh, teeth, teeth, teeth. I know that's like really oh. weird. I don't know why, right? But like, I have this really weird thing about teeth. I, it's really so weird. So you like nice teeth? I love nice teeth. Like, I'm like a weirdo when it comes to teeth. Cause like, I, um, I never wanted to be a dentist or, or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But like, I always was just like, oh, teeth are like, smiles. You know what I mean? Smiles. Like, yeah, the smile. You know? I like it when they're very passionate about mm. something. Like, it could be anything, but if they have like, a really big interest if it comes to like art or writing yeah, or anything. Yeah, being passionate about something. Yes, it, that's the best. Yeah, being passionate definitely. I would say the same you? thing for me. A smile is a big, big thing big for must. me. Big, big thing. Must. Um, also, I love like nice eyes. Mm -hmm. Love nice eyes and good hair. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Um, personality, I like not goof, goofy to a certain extent. Like our humor is very similar and we could just be like weirdos together. Yeah. Love that. Um, guys that are just very kind and respectful. Like if you're, if the guy needs to be very respectful to people at restaurants. Like oh, yes. when they're not respectful. Oh, family guys. 
family, family guys. Family guys, big thing. I feel like that's yeah. a similar thing. It's kind of like a red flag if they're like mean to, like if they don't like, if they're rude to dogs, yeah. you know what I mean? Or like, it's also like kind of like a red flag if um they're like, oh wait, what I was about to say. Oh yeah, that's just a red flag, you know what I mean? But like, it's, I totally agree with you. Yeah, you know? I think that's our type of guys. I also mm -hmm. like kind of artsy, like into fashion guys. Oh yeah, guys that are into fat, like if they like, can if dress you go, well. If you can go thrift shopping with me. If you can dress well, like if yeah. you have a taste. Like at least if you try like with your style. Yeah, exactly. Like you think about it just a little, that's mm -hmm. cool. And that's like an add plus, I feel. And if they could have a good conversation. If you can keep a good, good conversation. conversation. Like if we're together and it's just awkward silence, <laughs> it's not gonna work. Because yeah. my best self is when I can just talk about whatever with you. Mm -hmm. So if it's just awkward and you can't keep a conversation. Yeah, like literally, I, I love communicating. I like meeting new people, hearing new stories. So mm -hmm. it's like, if you guys can't do that, like, I don't think I'm going to have fun. No, you know? it's not going to work. Yeah. What is a misconception people have about you that they, like, if they don't know you, what's a misconception they have? That my life is perfect. <laughs> Yeah, they, a lot of people think that like, oh, cause just because she's happy all the time, like her life is swimmingly, no problems, privilege, amazing, perfect, no issues, but like, yeah. that's not true. For me, I would say a lot of people don't know I like sarcasm. Oh. Maybe that's a big one that people think, oh, did I bring my nail? Did I? No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, you said so like a lot of people, like yeah, a British lot of people, person. person. Really? Oh, did I bring my nail? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. That a lot of people don't know I'm sarcastic. Mm -hmm. Um. Or some people think I'm really, really shy because they've met me when I'm really shy. Mm -hmm. But I can be very extroverted. Right. Right. Um, so I think that's a misconception. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Mm, time control. Ooh. Really. What would you do? Like, um, mm, for instance, like, just think about it. Like, you could in a test. If I couldn't finish the test, mm -hmm. I could just like. Like just finish it. Like, before, like if I couldn't answer the last few yeah. questions, time was running out. Bam! You just finish it. Or for instance, if you were like wanting to travel, you know what I mean. You could like <gasps> control. You could speed up time. You know what I mean. Yes. Or if you like, let's just say, like you didn't, you were running out of time to do something. You know what I mean. Like and oh, bam, two more time. Yeah, exactly. Like it's just like. You could just take a nap if you're tired. You could freeze time. Then you have so much more know? control because I feel like time is and also running out. Just imagine if you could go back in time and would you want to go time. back in time? Okay, okay, okay. Another question. Yeah. If you could go back in time to one point in your life, what would it be? Probably middle school. And I would tell myself. I would tell myself. Listen, it gets better. Mm -hmm. Okay, you, you, it's you are a good person. Mm -hmm. Don't let it get to you. Mm -hmm. Also, like. Yeah, just like you know, tell myself it's gonna get better, cause yeah. like so I don't lose hope. You know, for me, I think if I were to go back in time, mm -hmm. I enjoyed middle school. Maybe I would go back to high school and just be more extroverted and like mm. try and do stuff outside. Oh, of school. I was confused about the question. I thought you could like um, tell yourself something or ask oh, yourself, give yourself advice. Oh, yeah, I thought you were like I could give myself like meet myself. No, like if you could then? just no, if you go back and give you yeah, and do something. Oh. Okay, then the advice question, which is what you were saying. Right. For advice, oh, I definitely go back and tell like my junior self, like, mm -hmm. hey, it gets better. You're like anxiety will go, like be better. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Like this is just a tough time. Yeah. It all gets better in the future. So just like, yeah, to give yourself hope, like mm -hmm. back then. Yeah, exactly. Would definitely be a thing I do. Let's see next question, guys. Um, oh, okay. Do you believe in second chances? What is your Honestly, idea on second chances? Here's the thing. I. I don't really know because sometimes like I'll be the type of I'm either all, all or nothing I believe in second chances but sometimes like if you hurt me mm. it's really hard for me to get to like trust like want to be back with you again mm. I feel like I wouldn't want to you right? know what I mean like I probably would forgive them like I'm really uh, for me it's really easy for me to forgive yeah but like I forgive, but I don't forget. Exactly. So like you know, for instance, if someone was trying to like quote unquote, oh, someone was trying to make me look bad in front of a bunch of people, mm. like I don't think I could give them a second chance. You mm -hmm. know, like uh, you know, um, or if they like hurt my family, like, oh. no, 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 you know. No, 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 so no, no, no. I don't think. What so. about cheating? Cheating. What is your perspective on cheating? I'm just like, what's your perception mm. on like, it would sucks. you take someone back if they cheat on you? Uh, probably not. Like every single time I like usually like every single time like someone. 
some like I have a friend or something like that and something kind of goes wrong like usually like I usually don't go back yeah. you know what I mean how about you if someone were like for cheating for me there's no second chance it's, it's like yeah. if you disrespected me mm -hmm. then I no longer would meet you in my life like I don't want right. you in my life yeah and the same thing like I've given se second chances for friendships before mm -hmm. and sometimes they work out and I feel like with second chances sometimes it can just be like clarification needs to happen mm -hmm. like right. with that person but if something really really bad happens now I don't think I'd give you a second chance because it's like you did it and it's mm -hmm. like do I want to give you second chances right I'm right. not sure what's your biggest pet peeve mm, oh my god this is a good question too actually here's mine when okay. people take themselves way too seriously oh yeah yeah when people that. take themselves way too seriously I feel like I take myself seriously sometimes but not too much like no you know, but like in public like, I think I take myself seriously. oh yeah me too like yeah just general but people don't put on their um blinker <laughs> Oh, uh, that's, yeah, that's annoying. And then um, chewing loudly. Mm -hmm, chewing right. loudly is a big one for me. Chewing loudly. And then I guess if we're talking about personalities, okay, let's talk about turnoffs for friendships or like oh, in yeah, general. Friendships, people. for sure. Turnoffs, cockiness. Mm -hmm. um, also, if you make like fun of people or judge people for like um, the hobbies that they like and mm -hmm, just judgmental. things that, like their tastes in music, tastes in hobbies mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Me? It's when, personally, like, in any, like, relationship, friendship, or anything, um, I think both people should, like, both people's opinions should be equal. Or, like, they're bossy, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't like it when people are always, like, you know, like, bossing me around. Like, that's not really a friendship at no. that point, you know? What thing makes you the happiest when you do it on your own? Like, that maybe someone doesn't know that mm -hmm. when you're doing that, you're, like, the happiest version of yourself. Oh, okay. This is, I don't know. The happiest version of myself yes. by myself. I would say honestly, just let doing creative outlets like mm. painting is a good one. Mm -hmm. Um, I really like playing the piano. Like oh, I feel so happy doing that's that. A good one. Also, like when I re just release a video, I like just post it. You know what I mean? Like wow. Also, traveling by myself. Traveling. You know? I've never traveled by myself. I can't wait to. It just I like it, you feel really accomplished. You that's know? true. I want to do how this about, about you? How about you? For me. Oh, okay. okay, so for me, it's when I'm, it's at night when I'm uh -huh. in the pool by myself uh -huh. dancing to reggaeton. Oh, or when I'm dancing by myself. I dancing, dance by myself all the time. Dancing and listening to music by yourself is the best vibe ever. I love that. Definitely recommend it. Listen, yeah. Running and listening to music. We're, yeah, we were talking about oh. that, like just jogging outside, listening to music. Mm -hmm. It's like you're, you're in your own world. I think we're going to come back later when we finish with the final product. Same thing in her final video. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll catch up with you guys later. Okay, so this is editing Julie coming back to say that we never ended up showing the final product of what we painted, but I mean, not the biggest deal ever. Uh, but I just wanted to say that it was a lot fun filming with her and hopefully you guys can stick around, subscribe, and see what else I have to offer. So, bye, guys.